Georgia Southern Athletics here with head football coach Jeff Munkin. You told them all week long this was going to be a very difficult game. In your mind, did you think it would even be this difficult with three overtimes? I, I don't know if you ever anticipate a three overtime game. Uh, I thought it would be a, a heck of a contest, and they got a well coached football team there uh, where they played tough. And I give credit to, to Coach Houston and staff and that team. And, but our kids did a great job of just finding a way. They, they, uh, you know, they had some tough things happen for them tonight. And we had a, a decent lead at halftime, and uh, came out, got behind, didn't, weren't able to put them away, and it just kept slugging away. Had a chance in regulation, didn't hit a field goal, went to overtime, made some plays, had them stop. They made they convert a fourth down to, to send it to second overtime. They missed the field goal. We fumbled the first snap of the second overtime. I mean, just, you know, it was just agonizing, but, uh, but a thrilling game, a lot of fun to be a part of a game like that and come out victorious for sure. You told the team over and over again, and I'm sure you told them again at halftime, that even with the lead, that wasn't going to be the end. The Chattanooga was going to fight back to the best defenses in the country in terms of points scored far and away, almost double the amount that Chattanooga normally gives up. And you're trying to do everything today on offense without your leading rusher. How did you have to change your game plan knowing you were going to go today without Dominique Swope? We really tried to to uh, run the offense as much as we could without him. And uh, it's just hard for us to change the offense entirely because we don't have a running back. We've got to trust that our guys are going to li uh, uh, line up and make a play and run the ball. And Dominique's a heck of a player. And I'm, uh, I'm sorry we didn't have him tonight. Uh, but Hey, William did a good job, as did James Dean and, and uh, Dominic, or, uh, excuse me, Sion Jones. You know, three different guys played at that position and got us some good tough yards. And, uh, and we just, fortunately, we did enough to win the football game. You had three, three touchdowns from Jarek McKinnon, who played a little bit also at the back position, and then two touchdowns from Darian Robinson. Robinson scored the first touchdown and then the first overtime touchdown. He spoke to us today a little bit about how great the blocks were to make that happen. From a coaching perspective, do you think that was one of the keys? I think he's being really kind about the blocks. Uh, the first touchdown, he didn't get any blocks out there on the perimeter, and he had reverse field and come all the way back. He just made a great play, and then on the touchdown in overtime, uh, I didn't see. I looking through all the crowd and everything. It's really difficult uh, from the sideline. Obviously, hard to see what's going on. But the guys up top in the box said that it was a great run. He wiggled and dodged and found a way in there. And, and uh, he, he he deserves a lot of the credit for both of those plays. One of the things that you also told the team is they were going to have to be super careful about missed tackles, missed assignments this week. Some of that today, maybe not necessarily a little bit sloppy, but an elusive uh, Hughesman out on the field, and then also the threat of uh, Terrell Robinson. Were those some of the things that you saw come to fruition in the second half? We had a lot of things happen that, uh, that you know, we, we'd like to, to have changed. Uh, just guys out of position. Uh, we had him stopped a couple times in the backfield. We couldn't get him down, couldn't get him sacked scrambled out of there and made some great plays. The kid's a good player, and uh, he's going to be a handful to deal with for the next three years. And, uh, and we didn't play a great game. Uh, it's good enough to win, and I'm glad we won the football game. We're going to have to play a lot better next week, and, and I hope we will. This is one of the one of the two multi-overtime games you've been a part of. Your last one is an assistant coach at Navy. How does that compare to that Navy overtime win over Notre Dame? They're all just exciting, and you know, and go, going to to uh, triple overtime, and, and uh, you know, this one came all the way down to a fourth fourth down play. You know, what a what a big way to end the game on that stop on fourth down, and, and uh, I'm just so proud of our kids and excited for them. They were you know they were thrilled to win a game like that, and they should be. It's tough to win games like that, and uh, and they found a way. Coach, another big game on Saturday at Paulson Stadium. Blew out with Appalachian State coming back two years since that overtime game at Paulson Stadium that helped launch the playoffs for Georgia Southern. What do you need to work on this week leading up to the Mountaineers? Well, we just, again, the, the best we can be as a fundamental football team, uh, blocking people and sustaining blocks, getting off of blocks on defense, making tackles, not missing them, uh, breaking tackles on offense. 
putting our eyes where we're supposed to be and not missing assignments. Just all the fundamental things that it takes to be a good football team. That's what we work on every week. Uh, and it doesn't change who the opponent is. You've got to play good fundamental football. So hopefully we'll do that. We've got to play with better fundamentals than we did tonight. And uh, we'll work on those things and try to get better as a football team. And, and uh, blew out. We ought to blew out the entire sun. We ought to have so many people out there. And I hope we will. We had an unbelievable crowd tonight. Uh, just Eagle fans. And they were loud and fantastic. And, uh, gosh, we, we, we need the Eagle Nation more next Saturday than we've ever needed. I miss a big game. And, and uh, we're playing for the conference championship, at least a share of it. On another note, Coach, Eastern Washington fell tonight. Possibility of the Eagles becoming number one this week. Is that something you're concerned about? No, can't worry about that. We got three more regular season games to go, and that's that's not something we need to be concerned about. None of those polls are important. They're not important until the end of the year is completely done, and uh, we're just going to try to do the best we can to be the best football team possible next Saturday and see if we can beat Appalachian State. Coach Munkin, thanks a lot for spending some time with George Southern Athletics. We look forward to seeing you guys on the banks of Eagle Creek, and we'll see all the fans next Saturday, Paulson Stadium, 2 o'clock kickoff. We'll be there and we'll be looking forward to it.